It's time for Cooking with Coaches, sponsored by Wise Markets. We went to other stores and compared everything. And while many things were similar, there was one huge difference. I like that one. You can shop anywhere you want, but you'll spend less at Wise. Eat better, spend less, that's Wise. Oh, hey everybody. Trevor Woodruff here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the women's basketball coach at Bucknell for the 2019-2020 Patriot League champions. Uh, we're gonna do some cooking with the coaches today, so come on in. Okay, everybody, welcome to my wife's kitchen. Uh, my wife, Melissa, is an excellent cook, so she pretty much handles all that for us, and we're very thankful for that. Uh, because I'm such an amateur, I've called in some help today. Uh, I'd like everybody to say hello to my eight-year-old son, Bryce. Hi. Bryce is uh, a veteran watcher of baking, cooking shows on television, so he's gonna handle all the heavy lifting today. So when deciding what to make for you today, we really had two main criteria. First, it has to be simple enough for me to make it. And if that's the case, then it's simple enough for anybody to make. And secondly, we wanted something that uh, was a little bit flexible, that you could change the ingredients to uh, make it a little bit different depending on how the folks in your home uh, might like it. So we took a trip to Weiss Market today in Lewisburg, as we always do, to get our ingredients. Uh, what we're gonna try to make for you today are ham and cheese pinwheels. Uh, most obviously, you start with the, with the ham and the cheese. Uh, one of the things we like about uh, these is that we can change those. If we want a different kind of cheese, uh, we don't have to use American, or if we wanted to uh, change out the ham for pepperoni, um, or add anything in and out that we want, it gives us the option to do that. Uh, in addition, we, need, we have, uh, crescent roll sheets, um, or you could also use just a regular pizza crust as well, whatever you have around the house or whatever you like a little bit better. Um, and then we finish up with a little bit of butter, and then these are just some condiments for the, for the end result, but very basic ingredients, uh, something that I think we all could uh, handle pretty easily. Okay, so as Bryce gets uh, set to start the pinwheels, we already have our oven preheating to 375 degrees. So the first thing you're gonna do is grease the pan, very good with butter or pan, and then you're gonna roll out your dough to a roughly 12 by eight rectangle. Okay, so the pan is properly greased and ready to go. Uh, we have our dough laid out in a 12 by eight rectangle. Uh, our ham uh, that we put onto the dough, we wanna make sure that it's very thinly sliced ham. Um, and make sure as you're applying it to the dough, or putting it on the dough, that you leave about an inch border on the shorter sides of the uh, dough. And then what you see is now that the ham is on, Bryce is putting the cheese on. He wants to make sure he covers all the ham. Obviously, you can use as much or as little cheese as you like. You can use any uh, brand or type of cheese that you like. It really gives you a flexibility to do uh, what you and your family uh, enjoy the most. Okay, so all of our ingredients are in place. Uh, as you can see, Bryce has started to uh, roll the pinwheels, uh, starting with one of the short ends. And it's important that as he goes, uh, he rolls it very tightly and pinches the ends, the seams, as he goes along. What'll happen is if you leave the, the ends out and they're thin, they will burn uh, in the cooking process. So it uh, looks like Bryce has it uh, rolled up pretty tight and we're ready to uh, begin cooking. So we have all the ingredients together. We have it rolled uh, nice and tight with the, the ends pinched. Um, and one of the last steps here before we cook is to cut it into roughly eight uh, similar size pinwheels. So we have a, hand, a couple of them done, just two left. Not as easy as it looks. Okay, so we have rough, we have eight uh, roughly the same size uh, pinwheels, and they're just about ready to go into the oven. Okay, so we've reached the final step here before we throw them in the oven. Um, as you can see, Bryce has a bowl of, mol of melted butter, and he is taking that, he is rubbing that on the top and the sides of all eight pinwheels, uh, trying to do it pretty evenly. He's doing a great job, like an artiste. Once all eight of them are buttered, in the oven they go. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, the oven is preheated to 375. Uh, all of our pinwheels are ready to roll. They are buttered and spread out on the sheet pretty evenly. Uh, we're gonna throw them in the oven. Should be done in roughly 17 to 20 minutes. Uh, you just wanna wait until they're a nice golden color and then take them out. See you in 20 minutes. Okay, so we're here with our finished product. You can see uh, the cheese and the crust are both, both a nice golden brown color. Um, at this point, we simply take, uh, take your favorite condiment. For us, we're gonna use some marinara sauce um, to use on our pinwheels, but you can use pretty much anything that you'd like, mustard or anything else. Um, so I hope you enjoy them. Before we go, uh, just a quick thank you to Weiss Markets for their support of Bucknell Athletics. I uh, would also like to thank our fans for everything they do to support uh, both our team and the entire athletic department. And lastly, most importantly, uh, our sincere thank you to all those on the front lines uh, helping fight this corona. I hope our pinwheels can at least make one of your days uh, nice if you have a chance to make them and eat them with your family. Um, and lastly, as always, Go Bison! Go Bison!